Well, I'm joined here at the big table now by Emily Lines. She is the vice chair of Democrats Abroad here in Berlin. It's good to have you here. So you watched yes. the debates. What did you think? Um, I thought it was really interesting. I mean, it's always a great opportunity to see all of these candidates. We all realize there are many of them this time around, mm -hmm. and it's a chance to see them in action and actually hear what they're uh, proposing if they become president. Did the debate make a difference, do you think, in Democrats' minds or in Americans' minds in the U.S. or abroad? I think abroad they definitely help because we are not in the U.S., so we're not seeing the coverage 24-7. We are picking and choosing what we see, and this is a chance to then see all of them or the top 20 presented to us. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., I don't know. I think in the U.S. it's easier to tune these kinds of things out and to say I've had enough and I don't need to spend four hours watching a debate. Well, you know, four hours watching the debate in the middle of the summer when Election Day is in November of next year. Um, how do you explain that to people um, outside the U.S.? Uh, what, what we saw last night and the night before, is that healthy democracy at work? I think what's healthy about it is that there is a selection. It's not just one person. I think it's good that we have options. Whether having 25 options is the best way, I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that plays out in the, over the next year. Mm. But it is a difficult thing to explain because it's so early and here it's six weeks. CNN, um, which is one of the, the media partners um, putting all of these debates together, it has come under a lot of fire today. I, I've been reading about uh, the, the network being accused of treating this, um, the debates like a game show, um, trivializing politics. Is the media here, are, are they partly to blame when people say they don't care about politics? I think so. Um, I think the way that they pick what questions they uh, ask, who they ask, the way that they're phrased, that plays into a lot of it. And if it comes across to people as it's just a show, or they're just trying to stir up something among candidates, create problems that aren't there, mm -hmm. then I think that makes it easier for people to tune out. Why do you think that the candidates agreed to these formats? Because all of the candidates, all of their campaigns said, yes, we will participate. I think they need that. TV time. It's 20 people and it's it's hard to get your name out there and especially to such a wide audience. Uh, I think it's easy to tune out, but for the people that are watching, they are learning something about who these people are. I mean, you, you don't think it's a necessary evil in, in one way for the candidates? I think to a certain degree, I'm sure that if in an ideal world, I think they would have it a different way. I think they would all have the equal amount of time to talk and have the same questions and have a chance to answer every question, and that's just not how it works. We've got 10 seconds. Let me ask you, um, Joe Biden, do you think come September when the next debates take place, is he going to be the clear front runner? I can't say. I think it's really hard to make that call. All right, very diplomatic there. Emily Lyons with Democrats Abroad here in Berlin. Emily, we appreciate you coming in tonight. Thank, Thank you. you very much.